Thousands of Jews attended Rosh Hashanah services in Tidewater today during the first of ten High Holy Days, a period of spiritual reflection and atonement. Rabbi Larry Foreman of Norfolk's O of Shalom Temple says this holiday, which ushers in the Jewish New Year, has a twofold meaning. It's not just a happy New Year with uh, all kinds of balloons and uh, pop guns and uh, funny hats. It's really a serious, solemn time as well as, as a, uh, a very joyous time. It's really a time of new opportunity, a time of new beginning, a time of beginning again. There are many rituals and traditions associated with this holy day. The rabbi wears a white robe, which represents penance, and the worship service is open with the blowing of the ram's horn, a shofar. It calls the people uh, to worship. Uh, Maimonides, the philosopher of the 13th century, said that uh, we are to use the horn to rouse the people from their slumber as a sort of uh, an alarm uh, to uh, let us wake up from what we're doing with our lives and to uh, focus again on new directions. Traditional Jews believe that on Rosh Hashanah, each individual's fate is written in the Book of Life, but that fate doesn't become final until after Yom Kippur when the book is sealed. These high holy days of the Jewish religion end next week with the holiday of Yom Kippur, which begins next Wednesday night and continues through Thursday. It is a period of fasting and atonement for sins and is considered the most significant of the Jewish holy days. In Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.